Jada Sneaker guy, Jada Sneaker guy. Got the people's eye, yeah, I keep that vibe. Better watch me now, the heat I'm popping now. If that lace ain't popping out, then I'ma swap it out. Jada Sneaker guy, Jada Sneaker guy. 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 You too. Fam Ali, what is going on today with everyone, man? Hey, welcome back and welcome to all the newcomers, man. Hey, last video, I was iffy. It was a little iffy if we, we hit that 40K mark, man, but it is official. The family is officially at 40K, man. So that is amazing, man. That That's a, a great great way to end off the year man i truly appreciate each and every one of y'all man from the bottom of my heart man i truly appreciate y'all because it couldn't be done without y'all man so thank y'all for supporting the fam man your boy will continue to hit y'all with these dope on feeds these early looks these vlogs all that man y'all already know what the vibes is oh, oh how can i forget we still gonna be swapping it out man if you know you know man but yes we're gonna be doing that all 21 as well man so appreciate y'all for sticking through and showing the support man hey hit that like button as always for your boy man but hey glad to have y'all back with me today we got to shoot at your boy won't be putting on feet because I, I, I'm gonna keep it 100 with y'all man I, I don't need these shoes they all right you know what I'm saying they 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 so so but uh we gonna talk more into that but uh let me go ahead and get y'all a quick look at what y'all already seen in the intro man Jada sneaker guy Jada sneaker guy <laughs> bang so here we have it y'all we got the air Jordan 12 reverse flu games or reverse uh, uh, food poisoning as we all know from that last dance documentary they had the uh, you know saying that he got sick off of food poisoning from eating a pizza so they aren't technically reverse flu games they're reverse food poisonings man but yeah man here they go man these are set to release hmm when are they set to release man I gotta hold on one second so after doing my quick research, these are set to release the day after Christmas. Hey, they are not trying to let y'all hold on to any of y'all money, man. Right after Christmas is over, y'all think that, oh, you know, we about to save a little bit of money. No, we got, bam, reverse flu game. So with that being said, that is a reason why I think that these may possibly sit, man, because they right after the holidays, right after people have spent all their Christmas money, man. So these might potentially sit for a couple days. Of course, they're not going to sit forever. They'll eventually sell out. But I don't think that this will be a first day sellout shoe, especially when certain places have fire red still sitting around, man, which is disrespectful, if you ask me. But, uh, yeah, man, let's go ahead and talk about some reverse flu games as what the word is of these, man. And, um, yeah, let's get into it. Bang! Here we go, man. Starting off with the box, as usual, you get a regular Air Jordan 12, um, on these and if i recall it's like every december for the last couple years we have been getting a jordan 12 to end off the year i know last year it was those like what those dark gray 12s which i had a pair but i got rid of them but those were last year but yes we do got the reverse flu games man as i said regular air jordan 12 box taking a look at the size tag on this one it reads air jordan 12 retro uh this is an eight and a half not well i can wear it but this is not for me because i'm not keeping these but varsity red black is your color blocking on this one they retail for a hundred and ninety dollars man so hundred and ninety dollars your retail date is the day after christmas december 26th and uh we have no lot number as well as no qc sticker on the inside of the box however we do get a white and green sticker that comes with it as you can see back there so that's the only sticker that comes with it is a white and green sticker you get your your salmon looking jordan 12 paper on these nothing different nothing more nothing less man so let's go ahead and get into this review bang here we go again y'all we got those reverse flu games taking a look at the left shoe it does come with a pair of spare laces red laces as you can see right there which in my opinion might be a little 
bit too much red for me on the shoe but uh if y'all want everything to blend in and you get a solid red look a hey, red laces does come with it to help y'all out with that man so that is the only thing that comes with it let me get y'all close up real quick it does have that red line on it and that's how it comes rolled up so that is how you a uh, pair should come if you are getting them early, you know what I'm saying? Y'all want to make sure that y'all's is, is everything that it's supposed to be. But uh, taking a look at the shoe, the outsole does look nice. I love the look of it with that all black with your hit of red on your Jumpman as well as your 2-3 up here. And as you can see, that's like a nice little smooth, slightly glossy outsole on these. You got your carbon fiber plate right there in the middle, which is gray. And uh, moving up above that, we got that black midsole with the reptile skin on this one. We do not have that new buck that we have seen on Jordan 12s in the past. So you get that leather reptile skin look right there. All blacked out. Jumpman logo right there. Um, moving on to the back of the shoe. Very nice. This is one of the nicest parts to me of the shoe is this back tab. I and mean, I love how this looks. You got your bright, vibrant red 2-3 right there as well as your jordan tag quality inspired by the greatest player ever with your gray hits right there and you do get your red tab man so it's screaming bulls all day this is chicago bulls all day and for that alone man i think that this this might eventually do something down the line because you, you can't go wrong with that chicago bulls color blocking man so i feel like this will be a shoe that will be like you'll be surprised how much these are worth down the line but for right now after they release they ain't gonna be worth nothing but moving on from that man we do got like a a suede i want to call this a, a suede material on this upper as you can see barely but uh you do got that suede on that whole upper and it's it's not really it's like an ashy type red. It's not really a, a bright, bright, vibrant red. For example, if I, hold on, if I grab a Chicago Bulls jersey, the Chicago Bulls jersey is more of a vibrant red than the shoe. The shoe is more of a dulled out red. I don't know if y'all can tell the difference, but the, the Bulls red is more of a vibrant red and it's more of a, a dulled out red on your flu, reverse flu game 12s, man. So just keep that in mind. But of course you can wear a Bulls jersey with it because when you got the shoes on your feet and the jersey up high, you can't really tell too much of the difference. You gotta have them side by side like that. But just keep in mind it's more of an ashy, whoa, it's more of an ashy red on these. Moving on. We do get that uh, two, three written down, your infamous two, three on the tongue written down on this one. You got your black jump man right there on the top. Still, the tongue is that same furry type suede material on there. The black laces, in my opinion, look dope. If I were to get a pair of these miraculously, I would keep the black laces because it does give it a, a pop between your contrast with that black uh, midsole. So, you know, I like the way that looks right there. But um, you do get your black lace aglets right there on the side. And it does have that jump man on them, both sides, as you can see. Taking a look at the inside of the shoe, man, we got a half size on the shoe tree. This reads eight through eight and a half. That's how the shoe tree should look. It reads die cut sock liner on this one, if you can see it. But yeah, it says die cut sock liner on the insole of this one. It's a black insole, but we do get a red jump, man. If I could turn up some light, yep, right there. We got a black insole with a red jump man as well as that size and sticker as you can see so that is how the insole of this one looks um moving on from that turn back down this light real quick we got bam right there that size and tag these were manufactured from may through july on these man so two month production on them and i don't think that this is going to be that hard of a sneaker to obtain man um just for the simple fact that it's, it's releasing right after the day after christmas and hey speaking of bro i could i could do something dope with this right here man this is a little this is a little straight fit right here man if i wanted to put something together i don't see see i see stuff like this and i'm like man i see the potential in a shoe and it makes me want to possibly keep it but i know that if I were to get a shoe like this, I'd probably put it on with an outfit like this, which I have several other shoes that can go with things such as this, but uh, it'll be a one-time thing, you know what I'm saying? So I don't need to spend 
$200, you know, after taxes and stuff on a pair of shoes that I'm probably gonna wear one time, man. So I'm gonna save myself the hassle and the time of having to sell them after I wear them one time and just not even get them, man. But that's just my opinion, you know. This might sit well in, in some of y'all's collections. It, it just depends on what you got, man. You know, if y'all like 12s, cop. If y'all don't have that much red shoes in your in your collection, which all everybody should because that's like the most <laughs> Produce color shoe that they have is black and red and red and black. But uh, hey, if you don't got it, perfect shoe for you, man. But yeah, these are they straight, man. Um, on a scale of one to ten, your boy has got to give these a seven and a half. I'm gonna give these a seven and a half. They're not bad. They're just not needed, man. Um, I know I heard some people complaining about you know what I'm saying the color differential between this midsole area going up to the upper but it's not that big of a difference when you got these on feet you won't even be able to tell the difference in the colors man you know what i'm saying so all it is 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 one is gloss and one is a suede so of course it's going to be two different shades but like i said when you have these on feet you know the, the further i'm pulling this away you can't really tell too much other than this gloss you know what I'm saying? So, you know, when you got them on feet walking and stuff, you won't be able to tell the difference between that that red shade, man. So, hey, it just depends on what you like, man. But uh, seven and a half is my uh, grade on these shoes. Not needed for me personally, but let me know if y'all will be copping these, man. Like I said, holidays coming up. Well, holidays is here, you know what I'm saying? But a lot of things on people's plate, a lot of shoes up and coming. Let me know if this is one of the shoes that you will be picking up, the Air Jordan 12. Reverse flu games, which will be releasing the day after Christmas, December 26th, man. $190, man. That is it for my review. I'm going to leave y'all out with a little bit of brie roll because uh, not going on feet, man. So thank y'all for watching. Y'all stay blessed. Your boy, Jada Sneaker Guys, checking out with the early look of the Air Jordan 12. Reverse flu games, man. So till my next one, man. Hey, I appreciate y'all as always. Y'all stay blessed. I'm gone. Peace. Stopping now.